Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope you guys are good. So welcome to another tutorial video and today's video is about transferring WordPress website from one URL to another URL. So this is the website where our client was having issue editing the website on their own. So they were unable to do any changes on the pages by themselves and they wanted to rebuild this website on Elementor. So what we did, we created a staging version for them in order to first approve the version uh, which we have built for them. So that's the staging version. And uh, glad to announce that they liked it very much and now they want it to be transferred from staging to main URL. So in this tutorial, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step process on how you can transfer WordPress Elementor website from one URL to another URL without using any plugin but you need to have hosting access in order to do that. So let's jump into the tutorial. So guys, I'm already logged into the cPanel of this website. If you're using any other hosting, uh, you might need to go to file manager and you should have access to PHP my admin as well. So first, Let's take the backup of the current website which we have and in order to do that I'll go to file manager and from there I'll go to public HTML and this is our live website the current main URL website and I'll be taking backup of that by creating the zip folder of WP content So today is 19th November when I'm creating this video and I'm renaming the WP content archive file, adding the date. So I'll know if something's, something bad happens, I can simply revert it from the backup. So WP content archive folder is now ready. Uh, here's our WP content backup. Let's create a folder called backup. And move this WP content. Oops, I created a file. Sorry about that. I was supposed to create a folder. Um, backup create new folder now I'll transfer this zip file to this folder and let's move it up back up 19th November 2021 okay our zip file our WP content zip folder has been moved all we need is uh, database for that now what's the name of the database check from the WP config file and this is our database name WP 780 now let's go to PHP my admin so I have transferred like hundreds of WordPress websites from one URL to another and launch like hundreds of WordPress websites. So if you guys feel that I'm going a little fast, please pause the video, do it on your own <laughs> and then resume the video because I can't help myself going slower than that. WP780. Okay, so that's the database which we need uh, for our backup. Now I'll first download it by clicking on database then export and click go as you can see our database has been downloaded and now I'll upload this on our backup folder which I created so this is our backup folder and I'm going to upload our database to this folder
Okay, upload is completed. It should show green color. Okay, upload is completed. Good. Hit refresh. Okay, our backup is ready. Now, what we need to do, we need to transfer staging to this folder, and that's really quick. All I all I need is just move the WB content or move all the files from staging to the main public HTML folder. So what I'm gonna do, I'll delete all these files as I already have the backup. And done. Now I'll move all the files from staging to public HTML folder. Move public HTML and move files. Here we have our staging files have been moved to public underscore HTML folder. Now what I'm going to do, I'll check the database and update the URL from staging to main URL within the database. So let's open up the WP config which we just moved. WP6 NYC sign repair underscore WP6 is the database name. We have our PHP my admin already open. I'll click on this database and then we need to find options table. So you might be seeing a prefix of this table a little different. So my table prefix is WPOF underscore. You might have WP underscore, which is the default WordPress table prefix, or you might have something else uh, depending on your settings. All you need to search is underscore options table. And uh, on there, you need to update the URL, which is, very easy. I'll just double click and remove staging from this URL and double click on this one, remove staging from here as well. All good. Now we have transferred our website from staging to main URL. Let's hit refresh and see what we see. It it might be broken, so we may need to do some more fixes. Let's see what happens. Refresh. And here we go. Our website has been transferred from staging to the main. After transferring, make sure to check uh, the URLs by going to view source, view page source. And let's check on some URLs. As you can see, we still have staging in the URL, which we should not have. So if I search for staging, you can see a lot of URLs are still showing staging. And in order to fix that, we'll log into the back end. And there's the back end. So I'm logged into the back end. Now, in order to update the URLs, Elementor has built-in feature in tools. Replace URL. That's the tool which in within Elementor, which we will use to update the URLs. Click on replace URL and copy the old URL, the staging version. That's the that's our old URL. And now here we will add the new URL. And here's our new URL and click on replace URL. Make sure to double check this URL because if your old URL have slash in ending of the URL, you should have that slash in new URL as well. Make sure the pattern is same as the old URL because if you don't do that, your website might break. So be extra careful doing that. As you can see the warning here from Elementor as well because these changes are done in database and if you do something wrong you're you you'll break your website so make sure to be precautious i have backups already and uh, i have done this like hundreds of times so i'm pretty confident about it but if you are doing it on your own please make sure to take backup of your staging version and your live website 
uh, in order to not to mess up anything. Okay, now I'm gonna click on replace URL. And there we go, 383 rows affected. And now when I refresh, website looks fine. And when I go to view source and search for staging, okay, I still see staging within 15 URLs. And uh, in order to fix that, I will install another plugin. Add new. And the plugin name is Go Live. Go Live update URLs. Install now. Click activate. And after activating this plugin, you will see Go Live under tools. Click on that. And similarly do the same thing which we did before, adding the old URL and adding the new URL. Now click on update URLs and uh, shows that URL have, URLs have been updated. Make sure to check all the tables and make sure to take the backup. Please, please, please take the backup before doing anything like whatever I'm showing you guys because if something goes wrong, your website will completely break and in order to revert it back, you should have a backup of your database. Cool. Now hit refresh again and check the source of the page again. Now search for staging and boom, we have updated URLs. We don't have any staging reference on our new version now. And now I'll go to the inner pages one by one to make sure that everything is good and there is no staging reference within the inner pages as well. Okay, so the about us page looks good. Let's check on view source, staging. Okay, we don't have anything staging okay that looks good to check out in incognito window as well because sometimes caching might display you something else and originally it's something else so you should check it in on incognito window as well okay so that's the result for incognito looks fine check the source of the page as well staging if there's no reference for staging that's good closing the incognito window and boom we have transferred our staging version to the main url i hope you guys had uh, if you're watching this video you might be uh, you might or you might be benefited from that video if you if this video were of any help to you guys Please like my like my video, subscribe the channel, comment on the video below because I need to I need to really boost up to create more videos, right? I mean we are still too behind on the number of subscribers, so please subscribe. It's free and it's not gonna cost you anything. You'll just get the free knowledge from this channel.